Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to tell you about some a canvas that I made, actually a couple canvases that I made. Uh, real quick though, FYI, I got a couple of the new, this is Riley, the new Prima Doll stamps. Um, this one's name is Phoebe and Maya, or Mia. My granddaughter smelt, spells it M-I-A and it's Maya, but and then this one's big. Her name is Lorena. So she's big. She would fit on the whole canvas. All right, so I got my canvas, got my Prima Doll stamp, fussy cutter, did all that good stuff to her, got her ready to go. Now, the canvas. I've done a couple of canvases and I'm kind of confused because I really don't have any set way to do it. Um, I've watched so many different videos, so many different techniques that I don't really have a process at the moment and it's a little frustrating because I don't really know, like I want to sit down and just make it, be able to go right to it. But anyway, this is what I ended up with. I'm pretty happy with it. It's fine. I used Prima paper and I just started out like this. I hope I don't knock anything over because this stuff is big. But um, my light is kind of bright too. Um, this is Prima paper. I don't know. I have all, I have three Prima packs. Divine, Fairy Rhymes, and oh, what was the other one? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, I, sh I just ripped it along the edges and Mod Podge it on. And then I mixed a green paint with white that I had or uh, whatever. Got that on there. And then... I did take like some uh, bubble wrap and on this one anyway, I didn't do it on this one yet. I started to I think, but um, with the white paint and started doing that and I put a few stamps on here, abundance, beautiful. Um, there's like a couple Tim Holtz ones on here too. Um, I don't know if you can even see them right now. Oh, I used, see I'm so, like I've gotten into so many different people, like what's the other lady's name? Um, she puts out, oh man, I have them right here. The Illusions, Dilute Dilusions. So this is the uh, sentiment one, but I have the uh, the like edges and all that stuff. So I used that around the edges. And then this is just fussy cut from the paper. And I glossy accented it and put some flowers. And I mean, she turned out cute. I like it. I'm okay with it. I did, I used like, I don't even know, like the, the shiny, um, What's her name? Stuart. <laughs> I can't think of her name. Martha Stewart. But that spark, it's like a kind of a um, glitter paint. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm so, I'm just frustrated. I'm like, I'm at a loss for words because I'll show you. Okay, so that's the one I made yesterday. And, I mean, it's cute. I think this is one of my very first ones that I did. And I like it. I... Again, I didn't know what I was doing when I did it. I had a few things. I guess I was had just gotten a few of the Tim Holtz items and wanted to play with them. Um, this one, I think I ripped a bunch of paper and just Mod Podged it all on like a collage. And then, like, see, I, I had my leaf um, die cuts and I put them under there. I put a little bird cage and stickled the bird and hung some chain from this little swirly, you know, I mean, obviously you can see what I did, but it just doesn't seem like it's dark. I mean, it's not too dark, but like, I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm going for. Um, Inspire, because this is one of those um, laser cut ones. I could have made that white or lighter, you know, to make it sh show up, but um, I don't know. And then I have this one I like. This one I keep in my bedroom, which is because my I have like teal in my bedroom. But like this one, I was doing the um, when you put the cheesecloth, and I did some um, using the stencils. I did the uh, oh that's just a uh, stamp, but the dimensional um, what is that stuff called? I'm sorry. Here, here it is. Molding paste. So I put molding paste under there and did a few stencils and then like there's metal pieces and I don't know. I'm just all over the place. But I like the cheesecloth and I think I used sprays on this because I always see everyone using sprays. And I only had probably, um, I don't have a lot of sprays. What do I have? 
Um, this is, I just got the Dilutions, but I think I used Glimmer Mists on these. That's what I had. So I have Glimmer, Glimmer Mist, and so it came out kind of just like sparkly. Again, the word is just kind of plain, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. I, I hope someone out there knows of a really good tutorial, okay, because I need to get like a straight kind of process, like a process. That's what I need. Because then, well, this one I made too, which, I mean, this was pretty much, I followed, oh man, I, I'll have to figure out whose tutorial this is. I think she made a tag out of this um, dress form and all that, and this was her total idea of having the ribbon like this wrapped around. I'm going to have to find out who it was and um, put it down in the description. Um, everything. The way she stickled the wings and all that stuff. I think they're even crackled and stuff. Hers was much better. Mine's like darker and stuff. Um, and again, now this is when I started doing, I just cut out one piece of paper. I took one piece of paper and just ripped the edges and put that on instead of collaging the paper. Um, and I'm just using a mixture of a bunch of stuff. So I'm really, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, I'm not unhappy with them. They're not terrible. But now I'll show you what I'm very disappointed with. Then, of course, you see Christy Tomlinson. And this is my version of, like, it's so dark. I don't know. I put, like, paper, I mean, um, pages from a book in there. Um, like, there's just stamps everywhere. I got the I got the markers, and I haven't really used them since, but I got the Faber-Castell markers, and I love them. They're beautiful, gorgeous, big brush markers. They're dusty, because I have not used them, because I painted for years. I used to paint with acrylic paints, and I have, I know how to paint, but, like, I don't know how to use these tools right. So, anyway, I paper-pieced her on there, cut her from my own design, but this looks like a fifth grader. Like, I don't like... I don't know. I don't like it. It's not what I hope to create. I mean, it's, I mean, maybe that sounds bad, but I don't know. It doesn't look artistic. It just looks like coloring book. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So then I got away from this again because I ordered like a bunch of stuff. Like I got a couple stencils and I thought I was going to do this. And then I started doing, um, I don't even know. I haven't even picked this up again. But I did. This is my art journal. And I did a bunch of stuff to this. I put, again, I put the cheesecloth on there. A bunch of stamps. Um, I colored. I sprayed. I put lace. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't feel... These are the, um, actually, I think I just painted these on because when I used to um, do painting, we would just use a flat brush, and my brushes are over here. But if you just take a really nice chiseled flat brush and just go gently into your paint, you can, like, you just pull these checks. So, like, I don't know. I've, I'm just, like, doing such a mishmash of everything. But let's see. I think I might have used some of my dilutions in here. I have not even taken this out, like literally because I just feel discouraged like I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it and I mean it doesn't look terrible because I mean the tool like I just use this is all dilutions obviously I mean some stamps from dilutions I use my white gel pen and some gel pen stuff and I mean it doesn't look terrible but I just like I don't have a vision for it or anything and it's it frustrates me but maybe that's just not so this is just a background and I just use see like there's that she has that shadowing and all that. My, my camera's probably going to cut off because I'm just talking so much. <laughs> but, um, let's see. I don't even know what else I did in here. Um, some more just random stamps that I had. And I was just playing, trying to doodle. I think I was trying to, like, outline things with the white gel pen and all that. And I just did another background with stamps on it. So, I was trying. I want to try it. But it doesn't feel natural for me. I don't really know, like I said, a process. I don't have a...